Have you been recording your trades in a Google Sheet or an Excel file like this? Now, how about something like this? Interested? If yes, then guys, make sure you watch this video till the end because I'm going to show you my visual trade journal built on Notion and also you're going to get a free copy of the same. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my Power Play webinar yet, then make sure you check out the link in the description below. You get seven hours of content with all the resources shared during the webinar. Also, you get access to the private channel and group of Power Play webinar where lots of interesting studies and discussions are taking place every day. So make sure you check out the link below and subscribe to this webinar. Guys, in business, it said that what gets measured gets managed. So a trade journal is where you log the key statistics and figures of the trades that you make. For example, the buy and sell prices, the position size, the risk reward that you are making. And reviewing this document from time to time helps you identify patterns in your own trading decisions, which helps you improve your approach and be a better trader. But what if you could record more than these figures alone in your journal? For example, what if you could record how you were feeling or what your emotions were at the moment when you were taking those buy or sell decisions? In other words, if you can log visually with words as well as pictures of what you were thinking while you were making a particular decision, then over time, this data can be very useful to you because you can then identify patterns in your own thinking and improve the way you execute your trading plan. Moreover, you could do a host of other things along with this. For example, a checklist before you make those buy and sell decisions to keep your emotions in check, a grading system for post analysis, which will help you improve. You could also have a portfolio tracker, which helps you keep track of the key stats and figures of your open positions at any given time, a watch list, which can streamline and organize your process of identifying and executing trades. So guys, moving on to the actual trade journal itself. So this is how the trade journal looks like. And like I said, it's built on an app called Notion. By the way, this app is completely free for you to use. You just need to create a free account using your email ID. You can clone the template that I'm going to share shortly, and then you can use the same in your own trade. I'm going to click on one of the trades which you have here. And unlike an Excel sheet here, you can actually expand each of these trades and see the minute details about all of them. Things like when you bought, when you sold, what is your position size? What's your revenue? How much risk have you taken? What is the status of this trade? What kind of pattern did it have before you actually executed the same? And what is the status of trade management currently that is going on? Scrolling down, you can see that while you do an entry, there's an entry checklist, which makes sure that you follow all the proper steps in the process before executing the trade. You can also punch in the chart with the exact buy point and what you were thinking at the moment when you took that trade. Moving on in the trade management section, you can also punch in the charts as well as write down your thoughts while you were making those decisions. Similarly, there's an exit section, which all begins with a checklist so that you keep in check that you follow the process before you exit a trade. You can attach your charts again with your exact thinking that was going on before you, you know, made this decision. And finally, sometime after the trade is closed, you also have a review section, which firstly begins with a psychology checklist. And finally, there is an analysis section, which helps you take an informed decision about what are the right things that you did about the trade and what are the wrong things. And finally, you can grade yourself based on the same so that you can judge till what extent did you follow your rules and how you executed the trade. And also what are the things that you can do to make this process better? Just like this, every single trade has to be graded after it is closed. And when you look at your closed trades after a point of time, you can actually see the average of your grades so that you can judge yourself how you are performing on a scale of 10. For example, in my grading system, if I believe that eight is the threshold below which I believe that my performance has dropped. So when I take an average of the grades that I have got for all of my past trades, I can find out how am I doing for that particular period by looking at this average grade alone. Similarly, there's a sum of the revenue column as well using which you can see how much returns have you made on your portfolio for a particular period. Now, there are different views created for this trade journal database. For example, all trades gives you the view of all the trades that you have made so far. Closed trades gives you the view of all those trades, trades which have been closed. And so you can review the same. Open trades gives you a view of the trades that are open so that you can track how much open revenue you have, how much invested you are in the market currently. And I'm going to show you a snapshot of the same. So this is how open trades would look. There is an open revenue column, which gives you an idea about uh, what percentage of your portfolio are you up or down currently open position with the sum of which, you know, gives you an idea about how much invested you are uh, in the current scenario. You can also look at the view of all your trades month on month, for example, one for April, May, June, and so on for every single month. Now there's also this trades calendar, which gives you a calendar view of the timeline of your trades that you have taken. So this calendar is important to me because I believe in the concept of clustering. As a swing trader, when I start seeing setups and start taking trades, 
I have seen that usually there are waves of setups. So having looked at my past data and past history of breakouts, I have often observed a pattern between how these clusters are formed over time during one tradable rally. This can be valuable information to your trading, but I'm going to leave you at it. Think about it and let me know in the comments down below. So now in the trade journal, I'm going to show you how you can record a sample trade. So firstly, click on new in this all trades view. So scroll down and then click on new trade, which basically loads the template for recording a trade. Now here you can fill up these different uh, fields which we have. For example, the symbol is something, let's say ACI. Buy date is something, let's say 10th January. Position size, let's say it is 10%. Open revenue, let's say it's 2%. Pattern is the setup that you are observing. So each of these tags are completely customizable. You can edit them, you can add more tags as per your own requirements. And the same applies for the entire journal. So let's select VCP and IPO base. The initial position size, let's say it was 15% and we have sold 5%, so currently it is 10. Risk, let's say we took 1%. Sell date is empty because it's not sold. And status, let's say it is open. Trade management, I have sold 5% of my position into strength, so I can add this sell on strength and let's say I'm also trailing it with a stop loss. Now entry section, you have a checklist first. So it was a planned trade. I did the sizing and risk correctly and it was a valid setup. Entry details here, you can, you know, type something where you entered the trade uh, at what price, what were you thinking while you did the same. You can also add a chart by, you know, clicking on this uh, embed thing. So you can paste the link here and this will bring up the chart. Alternatively, you can also, you know, paste uh, your chart directly uh, from your own local system. Trade management, you can do the same thing. Same goes for exit. You have a checklist and then you have the chart. Review section, you have a psychology checklist first. This has to be filled up after you have closed the trade. And a few days or a few weeks later, when you actually do post analysis of these trades, then you can you know give your answer to each of these questions. And finally, grade your trade out of 10. So let's say I'm giving myself 8 out of 10. And once this is done, you can also enter the grade here in the field. And let's say I made 4R on this trade. So accordingly, my revenue will be calculated. Sell date is, let's say, today. Now, if when this trade is open, you can find it here in open trades. You can see it is right here. And that contributes to your open revenue. But once this trade is closed, then you will find it in closed trades. And you can go and check the same. Okay, so now let's look at my watch list template. There are two views, as you can see, all stocks and at a glance. So basically, when you are planning your trades and identifying the setups, you can note the same down here with very minute details i'm going to show you how so i'm just going to open uh, one of the trades so i have created two sample setups here for your reference so let me open one and as you can see you have details like your basic period the buy point where you want to set your trigger the position size which you want to buy what kind of risk do you plan to take and what is the status uh, of this trade you can also put in other details like where is your stop loss you know how much you are you uh, losing if your stop is hit what would be the trade management? That is, how would you sell into strength? At what points will you take profits or, you know, move your stop up to break even, so on and so forth. You can note down everything here. There's a remarks section where you can note down events upcoming for that particular stock, like earnings or any board meeting, etc. Now, this is for when you do the planning during the weekend or in the evenings of the weekdays. When you take a look at a glance view of the same, this is the view that you are going to see while you are making the execution during the day. So this view will only show you the relevant details that you need to see during the day while execution. For example, the point where you want to buy, the position size that you intend to buy, and also any important events. There are different statuses of each of these setups. Ready to buy contains those which are yet to be executed. In making would contain those which are still in making but not ready to be bought. And bought would be the ones that you have already you know, uh, executed and are in our portfolio. So once you move the status after this, they will either go to sold or they will go to discard it if you did not buy the setup at all. So guys, if you want to get the templates for this visual journal as well as watch list, please join my free Telegram channel, link to which will be in the description below. There you can find the links for the same. Apart from this, I also share a lot of charts, ideas, trades, and many other content. When you click on the links to these templates, it will take you to the Notion website where you can click on the duplicate option and it will copy the same for your own Notion workspace. Only condition is that you need to have a free Notion account, which you should create right away. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Now I have summarized all my learning resources links in one single link tree page. Link will be provided in the description below. So make sure you check out this link and find out all about these resources. Thanks again. And please don't forget to like and share the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such videos in future.